no patience. Good morning, guys. It is the 1st of December. Happy December. It is freezing cold. I'm sitting by my window and the heater just is not working yet. What are we doing today? I am going to attempt something that if it fails, at least I have someone to watch and laugh with me. Um, we're gonna try and make bread in my rice cooker, which could be an incredible game changer. And I hope it works because if it doesn't, I have a lot of yeast and what am I gonna do with it? And just kind of try and get back on track. Honestly, I have been really, really busy. So the end of the year and the beginning of the year is always a really busy time for me. I kind of overwork and I'm like over scheduling myself and I'm trying to do too many things. And then I just have no inspiration left. Like I was trying to plan out some of my content for the rest of this month and I just had nothing that I wanted to do. Like I literally just want to sit on my couch and stare at the wall. I've been so lazy as far as cooking. Like I'm not feeding myself the way that I should. I'm not exercising the way that I should, etc. I'm not doing the things that I know would re-inspire me and reinvigorate me. So that's what we're gonna do these couple of days. I went for a walk this morning. It was freezing, but it was so nice actually. I made a good breakfast yesterday and it just set a good tone um, for the rest of the day. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, again, we're gonna try and make bread. Tomorrow we might go to a museum. My camera's dying, oh my God. Um, that's a sign I should stop talking and I need to make breakfast. So just welcome to the vlog. Happy to have you here. Happy December. Let's go. Here we go. Carrie doesn't have a mixing bowl still. We're using Tupperware. Oh, do I have any flour? Now, has it fermented enough? I can't really tell. All right. I think we have reached the consistency that we want. It bounces back. Let me put it somewhere where it can rise. <laughs> this is the only thing that I have that's big enough. I'm sorry, guys. But if it's gonna rise, make sure it's dry in there. Here she goes. Bop. Hi guys, so I am feeling so certain that this bread thing is gonna fail. I don't think that I let the yeast ferment long enough, whatever. Um, I think we're gonna get a failure, but what I know won't fail is my breakfast that I made yesterday, so I'm gonna make it again. If you guys watched my what I eat in a day video uh, last week, I made this really amazing hummus dill sauce and I've been using it with my eggs. You will see, I'm gonna make it. I already cut up my veggies yesterday because I knew I was gonna be lazy today. Let's make breakfast. <laughs> The remnants of my sauce. There isn't much left. <laughs> okay, breakfast has been made. sauce is just so good. So while I wait for the dough to rise and while I eat my breakfast, I'm actually going to be studying. Yesterday, I did so well. I studied so much yesterday. I am kicking my butt back into gear when it comes to learning Korean. When I went on that trip to Jeju, um, a lot of the people there could speak Korean fluently, if not like almost fluently. And I realized as I was listening to them, like, I can understand, like I know the words, it's just I don't, I have a lot of trouble, <clears throat> I've talked about this before, but like recalling the words myself and actually 
using them like if I actually stop to think about it I know how to put the grammar all together and say it I just get so scared so I'm just going back in and I am like watching a lot of dramas but I also I started using Rosetta Stone again and this video is actually in collaboration with Rosetta Stone but I need to say like full disclaimer I used Rosetta Stone 10 years ago in I think it was in high school I literally borrowed the cds like if anybody remembers going to the library and you just got like this big packet of cds if you wanted like a computer program um i got that for rosetta stone japanese and to this day 10 years later i can still hear the japanese rosetta stone woman's voice like otoko no ko, onna no ko. and i still remember how to say elephant in japanese Zo. I mean, sells itself. Rosetta Stone has me say an elephant in Japanese 10 years later when I've never <laughs> used or heard the word. But if you don't know what Rosetta Stone is, it is a language learning service. And now that we are in like modern day, you don't have to borrow the CD-ROMs anymore. They actually have an app, which is really cool. You can use the web or iOS or Android apps. You can either do a monthly subscription service or for $1.99, you get lifetime unlimited access to the app. And with that, you get access to every single language in there. So for me, I'm constantly switching between the French and Korean to study. Because I know a lot of you guys are like me and you're constantly like, you wake up one day and you're like, I want to study German. Me. So you can do that. <laughs> I'm going to dive into Korean. Study, eat, and we'll check on our bread. <laughs> it didn't rise at all, right? I don't think I put the yeast in long enough. <sighs> what should I do? What does one do in this situation? <laughs> it got bigger, right? Let me compare the footage. Hold on. That looks exactly the same, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> even if I let it sit for longer, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not going to, it's not going to rise, right? Let me Google. Let me Google. Hold on. The internet says that it needs more time. So we're gonna give her more time going in. I'm also gonna take it away from the window because it might be that it's not quite warm enough. There's flour all over me. So let's move her to a slightly warmer location. Okay, outfit change. Ooh, it is bright. Ooh, it is too bright. How can I? Okay, hello, outfit change. Um, Today, while we are waiting for the bread to rise, I actually have a couple things that I need to do. I am filming a video and what else? We're also going to go meet Kurt for lunch because he is social distancing working alone in his office. So I'm going to go keep him company. Um, yes. Okay. Let's get to work. Let's film this. I got to edit this fast. Like I said, it's a busy month and I'm behind schedule. So let's go do that. And today I want to celebrate a really important anniversary. Okay, now to edit. I'm right back into my slob clothes. So first I'm going to edit on Fisco just because the light was really horrible. And then we're gonna edit on Final Cut Pro, yay! Another outfit change. We are running to Kurt's office to get lunch with him. So even though I just ate, we're gonna eat again. How does that sound? Excellent. Let's go. I fear that it has not risen at all. Oh! Okay, it's risen a little bit. Why don't I just give it like a hell of a lot of time? All right, let's check back in like 
an hour. <laughs> Uh, casually throwing my knife around no big deal so what we have to do is get the air out of this guy again chop it up into little pieces and fit it in here my rice cooker is smaller than most rice cookers so she said split it into 12 but I'm not sure if we're gonna have room for 12 little balls of dough so we're just gonna play it by ear let's go <laughs> Okay, and then we are gonna put it in the rice cooker and seal it up again and let it rise for another 30 minutes, but I'm gonna put it in for at least 45. Don't turn it on, just leave it there. See you soon, bread. It is time. It has not, it's risen a bit. I think that this is what we're gonna get. It's out of my hands, we're putting it in the box so. so my recipe by the way i got the last bug bite i swear to god the last mosquito to be alive in 2020 bit me on the face so anyway um this said to do it for 25 minutes and then flip the bread and do it for five minutes but mine says that it should be 30 so i'm just gonna listen to my rice cooker <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen Okay. Hey, it doesn't look super bad. Hold on, let me flip it maybe. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh my God, it's perfect. Wait, that was really hot, my finger burns, ow. Wait, this is perfect as it is. Wait, oh my God, you guys. So this is a low key life-changing moment. It's so amazing, my camera won't even focus on it. It's really hot, but it is like crispy on this side, not burnt, and it's super like moist on this side. Let's, um, let's open her up. <laughs> so look, you can just separate it into a little bun and it's done, you guys. You guys, this is honestly monumental. Let me see. So the crispy part is definitely crispy, but I honestly think based on the taste, I think it might have had to do with the fact that I oiled the pan. So that's something we can play around with. But the middle bit, it is so bouncy and moist, but completely cooked. It just tastes like plain old bread. This took literally all day to do. So that's kind of a bummer to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls. But honestly, how awesome that I could do it in my rice cooker. Oh, I'm gonna go get my apple jam. If you haven't watched my video about the apple farm, you should. I still have a little bit left. Mmm. Delicious, what can I say? I'm gonna experiment with the crispiness. It looks burnt in this light, but it's not. Oh my gosh, just like how beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna stop freaking out. I'm going to maybe cut it off here because literally half the vlog is just gonna be me talking about bread. Tomorrow we're gonna go to a museum. I'll see you then. <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're going to the Amore Pacific Museum. I've taken you here once before, but they have a brand new exhibit and it seems to be on like Korean traditional crafts, um, which looks really beautiful. So that's where we're gonna go, shall we? This is a very fast
Oh, that was so interesting. I, oh, this is copyrighted music. I'm gonna have to talk fast. I spent 50 minutes in there without even looking at the clock. I was shocked. Um, there's so much to see. I was honestly just really hot, so I kind of sped through a bit of it, but you could spend hours in there, especially if you're interested in like jewelry and beads and metal work. Um, that room with all of the beads, like I couldn't even film half of it. Like it was so much, so cool. So definitely recommend. It's 10,000 won to go in, but like I said, so much stuff. So anyway, now I'm cooling off a little bit. It feels really nice to not be wearing my jacket, but I'm gonna head home and we're gonna get lunch with Kurt. Kurt's working from home, I think. He was when I left. Let's go home. So tired. I don't know what is up with me right around like two or three. It's three right now. I have just wanted to take a nap and that's where I am right now. I'm editing a video. Um, I just had lunch and yeah, I'm super duper tired. It was actually really cool though. The, um, the museum was cool because that style of art whole like landscape paintings like the kind of chinese style of landscape paintings that's actually when i was really little um like when i first started going to museums um for some reason that was always the art that i was most drawn to so that's why when i was like 10 i decided i wanted to start learning first i started trying to learn mandarin did not go that far i think i just really like chinese characters how they look so I tried that and I got as far as like Shenmue and then I was, I was out. <laughs> I switched to learning Japanese and that's actually why I studied Japanese, studied abroad there and then I ended up accidentally finding out about K-pop and that's why I started learning Korean and that's why I'm here. So um, it was just cool to kind of look at that art again. Um, it's the reason why I got that giant Rosetta Stone CD-ROM thing um, back in high school. So yeah, it was just weird that that kind of tied in, came full circle today. But I'm literally going to take a nap. Depending on how long I nap, um, maybe we'll head down to the river and just see the sunset. It's a beautiful day. Fingers crossed, I will see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, I'm awake. There is still time, but we got to hurry. Let's go. We're really racing against time. I did not realize how late it was, how quickly the sun was going down. So we gotta kind of jog for this one. Let's go. <laughs> so hot now because <laughs> I like kind of sped walked here in all of my gear so I'm toasty but beautiful pleased so a very cute dog um, so yeah I don't I'm just gonna kind of sit here for a little bit cool off and then I'm going to walk back home and we're gonna probably get dinner I don't even remember what we had for lunch oh that's right yeah so I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner <laughs> but um, I'm gonna watch the sun go down, so bye.
Hello, so I've had actually a productive morning, which is exciting. Um, but now that I have finally digested my massive mushroom breakfast, um, I'm going to do a little bit of yoga. And I just started, so you know I usually use yoga with Adrienne, really love her. Um, but I recently found Jessica Richberg, I think. Um, and the reason I just want to talk about it is because I'm the kind of person, I've literally been practicing yoga for over... 10 years i'm still relatively a beginner level because i will practice it and then i'll fall off the bandwagon and then once i start again i kind of have to restart like my flexibility goes away immediately my strength everything like that i get really bored by it because i've I've been doing this for like 10 years so what i found with jessica's content it's exactly my level where it's kind of a new take on things it's some new poses and it's just challenging enough maybe not a beginner beginner but like a person who has been a beginner for a long time would really benefit from it um so i personally really enjoyed it and it challenged me just enough that i wasn't bored but i also wasn't turned off by it like i didn't want to just give up so i'm gonna do one of her routines and then i think i'm gonna do a little vr because Kurt got a like crazy okay it's over there but um the like an oculus or something this vr headset because of his conference that he couldn't go to because he's actually presenting at the conference they sent everyone a vr headset for free so he could like go in and like meet his colleagues it's all very strange but the, the point of the matter is we have a vr thing now and there is this game called Beat Saber, Beat Saber, like lightsaber. It's like Dance Dance Revolution, but lightsabers. I've been having so much fun with it. I'm actually a little sore because yesterday I really want to get the BTS pack. They have a they have a BTS add-on, but it's like 40 bucks. So I kept asking Kurt, like, can I get it? And he he kept saying, like, if I keep beating my score. He was trying to play his own game, like his, do his own quiet thing. And I could recognize, like, I've been around the block a few times. I babysat. I know that voice that's like, yeah, do that very solitary, quiet thing by yourself again. That was so nice, you know? He was treating me like a kid that was annoying him. <laughs> Regardless, I hit my goal. I now own all of the top five top scores in this household. So we're gonna get the BTS pack and I kind of want to make a video about it because Kurt's actually really excited and he gets really into it and he doesn't mind that it's BTS. So maybe you'll see some Kurt doing weird Dance Dance Revolution stuff to, uh, to BTS in the future. I think that'd be so funny. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Enough stalling. Let's hit the mat. Okay, so I'm gonna try and record this. You can allegedly record what I am seeing on the screen. Shout out to all my short people living with tall family members that have to adjust the seat every time you get in the car. That was my life. Okay, uh, there it is. BTS Beat Saver Music Pack 36,000 won. But for now, I'm just gonna do the free version. I'll show you, I'm sure there's like a trailer on YouTube. I'll show you that. Wait. Whew. So it's all about doing it really hard. There's also obstacles. Second place, second highest score. Didn't beat myself. Oh, the only problem is, while that's a fantastic workout, can you see my face? Oh, it's not that bad this time. <laughs> but, but after I do it, like literally I was doing it for like 30 minutes yesterday. I just had these on my face, the mark of the, the glasses for hours. It did not fade. So good thing we're staying home. But yeah, I'm so excited to get the BTS one. Now I'm gonna go cool off, watch some YouTube. 
Oh, and we're getting, nothing exciting is happening today, but we are gonna go get dinner with one of our friends. We're gonna eat spicy eggplant again, two days in a row, so woo! <laughs> Hi everyone, it is a very cold morning here, actually it's an afternoon, here in Hongdae and I just wanted to finish off this strange amount of time that we've spent together um, going to a new store that actually somebody who follows me opened her store here in Hongdae and we're gonna go check it out but first I need to get coffee or something I haven't eaten yet today so we're gonna get that and then we're gonna walk over it's very cold so I'm putting my hands away, bye Can I come in? So cute. I, okay, just side note, I forgot what donuts taste like. Um, Mandy's Donut, thank you so much for that. Um, and they just actually ran out to get food. I have the worst timing, but this is Taro. And it's on the second floor, Studio Juliet. And it looks so cute. I actually didn't know it looks like they also have a cafe. So I feel kind of dumb for getting coffee, but I can always get another one. Right, right, Taro? back home so um this was a weird vlog but i did a lot of things that i had fun doing so i hope that you enjoyed coming along for the ride today was a very nice day sometimes when i film it kind of heightens an experience i actually notice more things and i get more out of it but for certain things if i film it actually kind of takes away or it chain it's a different experience so like when i do yoga i realize i really can't film and focus at the same time. Um, or when I go to a museum, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So today was really nice that I just kind of went by myself and wandered around in a completely empty museum, by the way. And then as you saw, I went to Studio Juliet, which is open. Um, everything is made by Juliet, the artist. Um, she gave me a bunch of postcards and thank goodness she gave me a couple posters she let me pick a few and I really want to put 
some more artwork on the wall. I think they'll go well with the navy sofa. I got this one, so as you can see, <laughs> in poster size, if you can imagine. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of end the vlog here. And once again, thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video. It's $199 for unlimited lifetime access to the app, including all the languages. So uh, yeah, if you, especially around this time of year where you're thinking of like, man, 2021 is the year I'm really going to learn that language. Get in the boat with me because, <laughs> because that's my goal is to really study some more. So we can help each other out. We can have study dates. More info will be in the description box. Yeah, I will see you guys then. Kurt, oh my god, Kurt went to the office to work for the, re the rest of the day and he took the VR. I'm so mad. I'm becoming an addict, you guys. I'm so sore. My arm muscles are like genuinely sore. So, um, man, maybe I will start a Twitch. Maybe I'll start a, I'll become a gaming channel. <laughs> um, but anyway, don't worry, I won't. But, um, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Thank you as always. I hope you are doing so, so well. Um, and if you aren't, big hug from me and I hope it gets better tomorrow. So yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Bye.